Yuzebel. Is a name synonymous with evil. Yuzebel was the daughter of Ethbal, a priest of the cruel, sensuous, false god Baal. Ethbal, the priest king of Tyre who murdered his own brother to take over the throne. Yuzebel's strongest enemy was the great prophet Elijah, who defied her and opposed her evil rule. This culminated in a contest on Mount Carmel between the powers of Israel's true God and the Baals. After the 450 priests of Baal and 400 priests of Asherah spent the day beseeching their gods with wailing and self-mutilation to end the drought, all to no avail, Elijah prayed to his omnipotent God, who responded by accepting the sacrifice, having the false prophets slaughtered, and providing an abundance of rain. However, instead of acknowledging the awesome power of the one true God, Yezebel was enraged and vowed to kill Elijah. She actively sought to suppress the worship of the God of Israel, leading to the persecution of prophets and followers of the true faith. One of the most notorious acts associated with Yezebel is the conspiracy to seize the vineyard of Naboth, an innocent man who refused to sell it to King Ahab. Yezebel plotted to have false witnesses testify against Naboth. Yezebel's story serves as a cautionary tale in Christianity, warning believers against the dangers of straying from God's commands and engaging in wickedness. Her example is used to illustrate the consequences of turning away from God and embracing sinful. Her story highlights the significance of godly leadership and the responsibility of leaders to lead with integrity, humility, and a heart for God. It contrasts the negative consequences of her leadership with the positive impact of righteous leaders in biblical narratives. Her story also shows the opportunity for repentance and redemption. It emphasizes the importance of acknowledging one's sins, turning away from them, and seeking God's forgiveness and mercy. Despite her influence as queen, Yezebel's power and wickedness were eventually brought to an end. This reminds believers that worldly power and influence are temporary and true lasting significance comes from living a life aligned with God's will. <laughs>